So let's get started. So I'm Joanne, I lead the customer success team here at Shippo, and I'm very excited to talk to you all today as everyone has started to come online and I've got some experts here that will really lead us to, you know, getting started and um, how to run your business online. Um, and I'm going to hand it off to Mike to introduce himself. Thanks, Joe. Uh, awkward day for me. I'm wearing the same shirt uh, as I am in my picture. So uh, that's a fun day in the wardrobe roulette. Um, my name is Mike Hathaway. I uh, run our inbound sales team here at Shippo and uh, been in the e-commerce space for a few years now. So I am very familiar with uh, both uh, kind of running an e-commerce business, uh, obviously very familiar with the shipping portion, the pricing uh, model aspect. Happy to uh, provide uh, any context I can to kind of anything in the e-commerce space and especially on the shipping side, we'll cover a lot of questions today. How Shippo can uh, help you smooth out your shipping process, uh, make sure that your buyers have an excellent experience on the other end. Uh, and yeah, just excited to dig in with everybody today. Awesome. I love that you're wearing the shirt in your picture. Um, <laughs> and Malcolm, you are an, ex an expert in this space as well. Uh, introduce yourself to everybody. Yeah. Hey, my name is Malcolm. Uh, I've been at Shippo for a few years now, and I've actually spent my entire career in the e-commerce space, uh, being at a larger retailer than actually more recently at uh, Walmart e-commerce and, and now here at Shippo. So I've seen everything from small to large and everything in between and actually uh, run my own uh, Shopify store on the side too. So I've seen the entire process like a Shippo customer because I am one. So hopefully I can depart some of that knowledge on everyone today and, and help answer some questions. Awesome. Thanks guys. Um, cool. So we have introed ourselves. Wanted to give just a quick background on Shippo before we get started. Obviously, you guys found out about Shippo. We're leading the conversation here. Um, so uh, before we take it back um, a little bit in terms of process for getting started, we will tell you a little bit more about Shippo and what we do. And for that, I'll hand it off to Malcolm. Yeah, absolutely. So what exactly does Shippo do, right? Well, if I give you a quick answer, we're a multi-carrier uh, e-commerce fulfillment platform that gives you access to discounted labels, um, but we're so much more than that. So today we're going to sort of peel back some of the layers and give you a little bit more insights into what we do. And more importantly, what we do that applies to you and how you can utilize the power of Shippo to help empower your business and of course deliver an awesome experience for your customers. But what Shippo does, it can be probably broken down into four like key categories and that is connecting to your store. So we have awesome integrations with um, all major e-commerce platforms. So you can easily connect to your e-commerce store. From there, you can print discounted shipping labels. So we give you access to the best possible discounted shipping rates across multiple carriers. And then from there, after the order goes out, you can provide tracking information to your customers automatically. And of course, utilize that information yourself. And then if you so need, you can manage and automate your return process. And we will cover all of this today. Great. Thanks, Malcolm. Oops. Sorry. So why are we here today? What we saw during this COVID situation was that a lot of retailers were coming online um, and starting to ship their products online. And we had a ton of questions um, about how to even get started doing that. And so we wanted to help everyone out and give our tips and tricks on how to get started online. So that's why we're here today. We're going to really break it down into um, different pieces to sh shipping uh, your, your products to your customers. And to get started, I'm going to hand it off to Mike, actually, because one of the first questions that you have when you're coming online is packaging. You know, um, you have different products, you're going to be uh, shipping very specific things. How do you choose the right packaging for your product? 
Thanks, Joe. Uh, yeah, I think this is an excellent question that, especially as we've seen so many businesses transition to incorporate more e-commerce uh, channels as part of their business or use e-commerce as a stopgap measure uh, during this time, uh, packaging is a huge question that we deal with. So uh, the first thing I always say to customers who have questions about packaging is you need to make sure your item gets there safely. Um, so. What this helps, uh, obviously, is with the buyer experience, helps manage your, helps manage your returns, keeps you from having to file claims with insurance. Uh, so picking packaging that enables your item to get there safely is by far the most important part of choosing packaging. So whether that's uh, a box with bubble mailers, uh, using uh, recyclable uh, paper to help pack your items in snug and tight, um, that is the first thing uh, you need to consider when choosing packaging. Uh, and then packaging becomes a more strategic discussion from there. Uh, so packaging obviously influences the price that you will pay for shipping pretty significantly. And we'll get into a few of those details kind of as we go along and how you can use Shippo to compare and contrast and use it as a tool during your evaluation process uh, of different packaging options. But uh, the main point is that packaging influences the weight and size of the item you're sending out. And those are two of the main factors used when calculating the actual cost of the postage of each shipment. And so keeping that packaging as light and as small and compact as possible uh, leads to lower shipping costs down the line and helps businesses maintain better margins. So excellent options for things that you don't have to worry about getting damaged in transit like apparel or um, I worked with some of you shipping out soap this morning. Um, they use things like uh, poly mailer bags. And so those flat bags that uh, you can insert and then um, either has a sticky where you can seal it or uh, has, the hot, uh, has the hot air uh, sealing method as well. Uh, can be a fantastic option to help keep that overall weight of the item down. And of course, it's a fairly minimal size package. So uh, focuses on both uh, keeping the package small and keeping it light. Uh, additionally, there are a ton of different sources you can get packaging from. Um, where we see most businesses start is uh, getting that free packaging from USPS. Uh, one of the best parts about working with USPS is that they will provide you packaging for free. You can go into your local post office, pick up a, a lot of boxes for free, or they'll even send them to your location uh, if you go on USPS's website. Um, so you don't have to leave the house or worry about uh, going into a post office uh, when that may be a higher bar to clear uh, today than it has been in the past. Uh, USPS provides these options or these boxes to ship through priority mail services, and they can be an excellent option if you're shipping something, especially on the heavier side. Uh, flat rate boxes and priority mail boxes that you can fit your heavier items in uh, can help limit the overall cost of postage in the long run. Uh, typically, uh, the shipping cost of your items is based on the, either the weight and size of your item, or you can use options like flat rate. So obviously, the heavier your item, the more advantageous it may be to incorporate a flat rate box into your shipping mix. And our tool can do a great job showing where, that's, uh, where that might be an advantageous move for you. Um, and we'll show you that kind of as we go through the presentation today. Uh, the last option uh, is uh, we, we see customers use sources like Uline or the Boxery or Amazon or Office Depot uh, to buy packaging in bulk. Obviously, the more you buy, the uh, lower the cost is on a per unit uh, scale for packaging. So um, getting samples, figuring out which one's going to be the smallest, lightest option for you to get your item there safely. Uh, and then purchasing in bulk can help reduce your packaging costs in the long run. So uh, keep your packages small, keep them light, make sure they're safe in transit, and then consider flat rate options for heavier items that you're sending out on a consistent basis. Awesome, thanks Mike. And you already alluded to this a little bit, um, but packages do influence pricing. Um, and costs of your shipping, and but there are other aspects of it, and I uh, would love for you to walk us through the other things that influence uh, cost. Yeah, this is a this is a great question. I think uh, thinking about shipping costs really starts at the shopping cart in your e-commerce store, right? Um, so how do I car charge my customer for shipping? 
Uh, Shippo does not show rates uh, to customers in the shopping cart. That's all set within your e-commerce platform. So whether that's eBay, Shopify, uh, WooCommerce, uh, Weebly, uh, we integrate with a ton of sources, obviously, uh, but that will all be set within the shopping cart itself. Um, so there are three main strategies we see used when charging for shipping costs in a shopping cart. Uh, the first and probably the least popular uh, is uh, a tool provided by the majority of these platforms to quote live rates in the shopping cart for a buyer. And what this means is that uh, you'll enter the dimensions and weight of your item. Uh, the platform knows your location and it'll ask the buyer for their zip code to estimate a shipping cost. And so I'm sure you've checked out in an e-commerce store in the past and it shows you a shipping cost based on your location. Um, this, is, uh, this is called live rates. Uh, and it's probably the third most popular option we see used. Uh, and that's mostly because uh, live rates, while they're extremely effective at making sure your shipping costs as a vendor are covered every single time, uh, they are associated with an extremely high cart abandonment rate. So this is more on the e-commerce side of the business. One thing that you'll monitor uh, kind of as you get up and running is your cart abandonment rate. So how many people put items in your cart and they never finish the transaction? Two, uh, two methods that we see for quoting shipping rates that have a much lower cart abandonment rate associated with them are obviously free shipping and then flat rate shipping. So free shipping, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you, what our users do will uh, get a good sense based on the weight and size of their item. Uh, the average cost it will uh, have, the, or it will cost them to ship out the item across the country or anywhere where you might be offering the, uh, the item for sale. And you can use our tool to, uh, to do this. Um, basically what I suggest my customers do is um, it, I'm in California, so I'd pick an address in California, maybe one in Seattle, maybe one in Denver, one in Texas, one in Chicago, one in New York. And I plug in four or five addresses and I type in the weights of my items. And then I'll average those out and charge that average as a flat rate cost within my shopping cart. Uh, the third option there is free shipping. And we see a similar method used for uh, determining how to incorporate a shipping cost into the overall cost of the item. So uh, very similarly, you'll take uh, the average of what you expect your shipping cost to be within Shippo by typing in a few addresses and a few different weights and dimensions, uh, and then incorporating that into the actual cost of the item instead of uh, charging it as an additional cost at checkout. Um, you'll see these two methods blended as well with free shipping often offered at a certain threshold. So um, charging maybe $5 for shipping. And then if somebody spends over $50 offering shipping for free uh, after they've met that threshold. So those are a couple different ways uh, you can charge uh, for shipping within your e-commerce store, keeping in mind that all important factor of cart abandonment rate. Um, so once the order has been placed, how do you, how do you uh, minimize costs from there? So Shippo's platform does this for you. Uh, we have discounted shipping rates with USPS, UPS, DHL. And just by entering the dimensions of the package, you'll see the lowest rate across all of those carriers in your Shippo account for that specific shipment. Our platform is here to provide transparency in the rate shopping process so that for each and every shipment you're sending out, you know that you're paying the lowest cost available to you and you're able to meet the expectations of the buyer for when that uh, package is delivered. Uh, every shipment on Chippo has a tracking number so you can communicate that information directly back to the buyer um, and you'll be able to sort by uh, lowest fastest uh, shipping or lowest cost fastest shipping time in Chippo so that for the vendor or yourself, uh, it's a very transparent process as you're creating that label uh, throughout the buying experience. So when it comes to minimizing costs, first, keep that packaging as light as possible. Second, make sure you're charging an appropriate amount, amount or you have shipping built into your pricing model for your e-commerce store. And then third, when you're fulfilling packages, know that as long as you have your packaging uh, as light and as small as possible, Shippo will automatically sort the lowest rates for you uh, and our tool can be used while you're kind of setting up your pricing model to get a really, really good sense of what your average shipping cost will be. 
Awesome. Thanks for that detailed walkthrough. My pricing is super important for, for customers as they're, they're starting to ship off uh, their products. And now that you have your package, your pricing all put together, the, the next question I naturally had was like, how do I get my packages to the carriers, especially during COVID, obviously being outside is risky, but in general, if you have a ton of packages um, that you need to send out, having to go to the uh, post office or to the carrier itself is um, time consuming. So I'm gonna hand this off to Malcolm to walk us through pickups. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I know with, you know, busy schedules, you're managing a business, you have other things going on in your personal life, maybe going to the carrier drop-off location or the post office is not necessarily the easiest option, especially with the state of things nowadays. Maybe you just don't want to do in-person drop-offs. You want to have the carrier come to you and you want to have a contact-less pickup method. You can accomplish that really easily in the Shippo platform right in your shipments tab. As you can see on that slide, it actually says schedule pickup. So right within the Shippo app, you can schedule a pickup from USPS or DHL Express. You wanna make sure you give yourself about 24 hours from when you need the item picked up. So if you have an item that needs to go out and it's sending overnight or some type of express method, you probably wanna drop that off yourself. Um, but otherwise you can schedule a pickup right in your shipments tab. Another thing to consider is that when you are utilizing the USPS and you have multiple parcels that are going out at one time, you may need to utilize a manifest or a scan form. So a manifest or a scan form is a sheet of paper that has one barcode associated with it that lists all of your shipments that you are indicating you are either dropping off or having picked up for that day. The reason this is important is because it associates all of those shipments with one single barcode. So if you can imagine, business is booming, things are going great, and you have 50 packages that need to go out in one day, if the carrier were to come and pick them up, they'd have to scan every single barcode on the tracking label, on the label for the tracking number to log each individual package. If you have the manifest, they can scan one barcode and it automatically logs all of them as picked up or received. So a good rule of thumb is if you have probably more than a handful of parcels, you wanna make sure you go ahead and generate that manifest. And the great news is, is right next to where you see the ability to schedule a pickup in your shipments tab, you can automatically generate a scan form or manifest within Shippo. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. That's super helpful. Um, and it helps, you know, make sure uh, labels were all scanned or packages were all scanned as well. Um, the other thing to mention when you're shipping out multiple packages is making sure that they all get to where they need to go and that they are not damaged on the way there. Um, obviously, you can't always control that. Um, and so we have options to also add insurance within Shippo. And for, for that, I'll go back to Malcolm um, for more details. Yeah, of course. So you've already done the hard work in getting your items packaged up. You've taken Mike's advice. You found the best, smallest packaging that keeps the items safe. But sometimes that might not be enough, right? Accidents do happen. Things can get damaged in transit, especially depending on the types of items that you're sending out and selling. Uh, so something that you may need to consider or may want to utilize is additional insurance. So it's important to note that most carrier service levels already includes some basic level of insurance that could range from $50 or $100, something of that nature. So it's important to check with that. We have that information in the help center, I believe, on our site. So you can reference that. But say you're sending something a little bit higher value or something a little bit more significant and you need to insure it for, say, $1,000. What would you do then? The great news is that Shippo has built-in insurance that you can utilize within our platform with a simple click. You can even automate it to add insurance as well. Um, with that too, it is 1.25% of the declared value of the uh, amount that you're indicating. So for instance, if it was $1,000, it would be 1.25% of that. Uh, and if it was uh, on our pro plan, uh, it would be 1% of the declared value. So for instance, $1,000, it would be $10 to insure that item. 
And the great news is, is that this is through a vetted third party partner. So no matter what carrier you are utilizing, it will be the same claims process with the same uh, claims group. So that is through uh, ShipSurance. And again, it's a vetted third party partner, really simple claims process. They're there to help uh, and you can easily get in contact with them. So you need to utilize that. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. And yeah, we work pretty closely with ShipSurance as well. So if you ever have any issues or run into any um, problems, we're always happy to help us. Uh, you can always reach out to the support team at support at um, and we'll do what we can on our end. Um, and Malcolm and Mike have already mentioned a bunch of different carriers. Um, and I think that's a huge advantage of using Shippo. Um, and in seeing multiple carriers and those options. Uh, Mike, why don't you walk us through how customers can take advantage of that and optimize across different uh, carriers? Yeah, great question, Joe. And I think this is kind of what our platform is designed to do on its own. So uh, once you get set up, our platform will automatically sort, as I mentioned before, the lowest, fastest, uh, cheapest shipping options uh, for you within the orders tab as a new order comes in or you create a new label in Shippo. Uh, in order to make sure, in order, 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 um, it, to get your carrier account set up correctly and making sure you have all the options available with, uh, within Shippo, you'll go in the settings tab of Shippo and then uh, on the left hand side, as you're seeing in the GIF here, uh, hit the carriers button. In that section, you'll be able to see all of your available carrier options. When you do sign up, uh, USPS uh, and DHL are your two discounted carriers that are available for domestic shipments within the United States here. And then uh, at the top of the page, you'll see the option and it's a brown button kind of uh, uh, flashing again and again in this GIF here uh, to set up uh, special UPS discounts through our service as well. Uh, so you can hit that button to activate UPS within your account and then uh, for all shipments going out in the future, as long as those carriers service the addresses, you'll see options for USPS, UPS, uh, and DHL, uh, depending on the address you're sending to. Uh, one thing to note, if you're using a flat rate box, so if you choose a USPS flat rate box, uh, you're obviously not going to see rates for UPS uh, for that shipment. But if you're entering your own dimensions or if you save a template uh, of a package you send out very often, uh, you will see rates for all of our available carriers that do deliver to that address. And so uh, as that order comes in, you either have uh, some of our automation rules set up to apply a package type automatically, or you enter the dimensions of the package. And then on the right hand side in the order, you'll see the lowest shipping rate available and a drop down menu that shows you all of your available shipping rates for that specific package going out. So the optimization across multiple carriers First, you wanna make sure you have all your carriers set up. Then, as long as you're confirming package information as orders come in, those rates should automatically populate. And then it's up to you to pick the rate that you wanna ship. Awesome, thanks, Mike. And so now you have price to your packages, you've shipped them off. Um, once that happens, when I'm buying something online, immediately I'm looking for when it's coming. So uh, Malcolm, why don't you tell us about notifications? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're anything like me, as soon as you purchase an item online, you're wondering where is it? You're instantly checking for tracking information, trying to figure out when your item is going to arrive and I'm sure your customers are probably not too much different. Uh, so the great thing is, is that Shippo allows you to send automated tracking notification emails to your customers as soon as you ship out and fulfill their items. Uh, so you can turn this functionality on or off, and of course it's included with our services, uh, and it will send your customers an automated tracking notification page indicating that they do have an item on the way. Additionally, too, Shippo sends an automated delivery notification email, if you so choose, uh, to your customers that indicates that the package has arrived. Uh, so you have the ability to toggle this functionality on or off. Some customers have a similar piece of functionality in their uh, existing e-commerce platforms, like for instance, Shopify, which is great because Shippo communicates bi-directionally with e-commerce platforms. So 
all of the activity that's coming from Shopify comes over to your Shippo dashboard and that activity that you perform in Shippo goes back. So if you already use automated notification emails in your e-commerce platform, you can still continue to use them. And then of course, turn those off in Shippo. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. And I'm going to come right back to you because, you know, sometimes you get your package and you don't totally love it or you want something else, you tried it on or you bought multiple things and don't want to keep it all. How do our customers or our customers' customers handle returns? Yeah, great question. So uh, returns can be very tricky. Of course, returns are very specific to each individual business. This may or may not be something that applies to you. But in the case that it does, I know it's something that's probably on the forefront of your mind. Um, so what do you do? Uh, the great news is that Shippo has your back. We have some really good solutions to help you tackle returns. Uh, first, and one that's very popular, is to actually automate an aspect of your return process. So Shippo has the ability to generate scan-based return labels automatically with each of your shipments. And so what that means is it's a scan-based return label, meaning you are not charged for that label until your customer actually utilizes it for a return, meaning that they actually give it to the post office uh, and they're sending an item back. Uh, so you have the ability to generate those with every shipping label. So you can put them in the package, give your customers the power to handle their own return process that takes the burden off of you or anyone else that you might be working with your support team uh, in terms of coordinating returns. You just put that right back in the customer's uh, court. Uh, you have the ability to continue to generate those tracking labels in a non-automated way if you want. So you can do them on a one-off or a case-by-case -case basis. And you can do that right within your Shippo orders dashboard. And you can create a return label that will also be scanned based as well. So you can simply, what simple Shippo will do is simply reverse the to and from address. So your customer now becomes the sender of that parcel and you, the merchant, become the recipient. And so Shippo will generate a PDF of that label, which you can then email to your customer. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. Uh, so we've gone through the entire shipping process, uh, but how do you really get started within Shippo or within um, an online business? And that's to get your orders online. And then for this piece, I'm going to go to Mike to walk us through how to connect a store or how to get orders online in general. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Uh, lots of great questions coming in, so really appreciate everybody submitting those, and happy to continue answering them. We're uh, we're getting to them between uh, Malcolm and, my, uh, and myself as uh, as quickly as we can. And if you have any account specific questions, please feel free to follow up us, with us directly. It's easier in this format for us to answer uh, just general questions about Shippo, but happy to help with account related stuff as well. Um, when it comes to connecting your store, that'll be the very first thing you generally do when you set up Shippo. So as you log in for the first time uh, on the orders tab, uh, the system will prompt you in like probably five or six different places uh, to connect your store. Uh, if for whatever reason you've ignored all of those buttons, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I myself love to poke around a platform before I connect everything, so certainly understandable. Um, in order to connect your stores, it's a really easy process. Uh, basically, you'll go to the settings and stores tab. Um, we recently changed the, uh, the tab, so on this GIF here on the screen, you'll see uh, it, in green it says e-commerce channels. We've now changed that to stores. So it's settings, stores, uh, and then you'll see all of our available store integrations. Um, you just select the one you'd like to connect. And from there, generally, it asks you to confirm the URL of your store and then log into that store's platform through uh, an easy connection process that generally just asks for your username and password uh, and permissions for us to share information. Uh, with all of these platforms, we have what's called a bi-directional sync of information. So that means we're importing all of your order information. So you'll see on this GIF here, we import the uh, source of the order, the order number, the recipient's information, uh, the items included in the order, and the status of the order in your store. And then once you complete that order in Shippo, the second half of the bi-directional sync takes a, uh, comes into effect, and we sync all of that information back to your store. So uh, we'll update the fulfillment status from uh, pending to fulfilled, 
uh, in the order itself will sync the tracking number back to the platform. So if you have any notifications set to go out, as uh, Malcolm had mentioned, uh, from your store directly, that'll include the tracking number that Shippo generated in our platform automatically without you have to worry about, worry about like copy and pasting or anything. So to connect your source, uh, it'll prompt you as soon as you sign up. Otherwise, you can go in the settings and stores tab, hit connect next to your store, and then just easy sign in process and all of your orders will start importing automatically. Great, thank you both so much for walking us through everything. I think we broke down each of the important steps for coming online and starting to ship to your customers. Um, and I, I know that we've been able to answer a lot of the general questions in the, in the Q&A. I can't see them on my side, but if we didn't get to your, your question, we will definitely respond to it when we send out a follow-up. Um, but before we end the conversation, um, Malcolm or Mike, do you have any other insights or anything that you wanted to say before we head out? Sure, I'm, I'm happy to jump in here. Uh, not any other additional insights per se, but just wanted to make sure um, that everybody knew that this is a, an ongoing conversation and that we are happy to help and be your partner in, in growing your business uh, in any way that we possibly can. Um, so we do things like put on webinars like this. Uh, we have in-app support through chat. Uh, you can request a call, you can send us an email. We have an awesome help center that has really good information about our platform and some general business advice. We even have an awesome blog, uh, the delivery that covers really interesting topics in the e-commerce space, uh, a little bit higher level and some that are more specific. Um, so we really truly love being a resource and a partner for you when you're growing your business. Uh, we have a bunch of different ways that I outlined, but if there's some sort of way that we haven't already thought of, just send us a note, chat with us, uh, just reach out to us. We're happy to help in any way we possibly can. Oops. I muted myself instead. Uh, thanks, Malcolm. Yes, we have a ton of resources online. So thank you for mentioning all of that. Our support email is right here on this slide. When you're logged into Shippo, you'll see a bunch of different options to reach out to us live as well. There's a chat um, channel in there. And if you want to give us a call, there's a, a callback option um, in there as well. So reach out to us if you have any questions. The vlog is great because uh, you learn a bit more um, about shipping in general beyond Shippo, which is also very important. Um, and I think that's it from our side. Uh, again, we'll answer your questions if they are very specific to your account or um, if they're a little bit more specific to your workflow in an email. You can also reach out to us at support at um, if you have other questions regarding your account specifically. Um, and you should get an email from us with a recording of this webinar. We're usually pretty quick, so probably the first couple of days um, early next week. Thank you again for joining us on this Friday. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye everyone.